Great afternoon, great afternoon. Welcome once again to Searching the Scriptures. We had an opportunity to go to church today, and we want to share some of the things that, that we heard this today, feeling that it will tie in to our um, lessons dealing with doctrine, and the time will come when men would not endure sound doctrine. And I think the last video we touched on apostasy. But as I was listening, and I saw we were having uh, intentionally listening to see what the Lord is saying. So today, in Freedom Temple Ministries, Pastor Capo, the pastor-elect, um, came up with the subject, the power of collaboration. And as he was talking, he began to talk about the trees, and he began to talk about, he asked the congregation about, um, first of all, why uh, do they love God? Do they love God, and, and why are they coming to church? And he began to... He, he began to say, well, I'm not apologizing you for the direction that I'm taking you because he felt, you know, he's a pastor, which a pastor is not just there to make you feel good. He said, I'm not here to entertain you. Church is not for entertainment. Church, church is so that you can be nurtured and, and brought up in the admonition of the Lord. And so he began to challenge the congregation about the purpose. And he used the, the subject, the power of collaboration. And he talked about unity. He talked about the purpose and as he was, I guess, experiencing the congregation through the praise and worship, the Lord began to put on his heart about to ask them, do they love him? Do they love him? Do, uh, and the reason, and as he was talking, uh, I began to think about the word, you come together for strength. You know, and that's the whole purpose of the Bible. So we come together in the church for strength. And he says the, the, um, the power of collaboration, that means coming together with someone, working together, for one mind and one purpose and that is the reason we should come to church not out of tradition now there are times when God has drawn a person who is brand new to the church and or he brought um, three categories a person who who left God and was coming back he asked them to come up and someone who wants to connect with freedom to come up and someone who wants to accept Jesus Christ to come up but he kept indicating and said close your eyes and think about God and think about the reason um, that you're coming here and what God means to you. And I believe that God was prompting him because people, we can go through the motions of church, which the church is coming to the building, but the building is not the church. The church is the body of Christ. And which made me think about um, 1 Corinthians, the, um, the 12th chapter, uh, and it talks about the body of Christ because in the Pastor Capers, was talking about the body. He was saying, how can you be in the body? Or he thought he talked from the perspective of being a family. And you are in the family of God, and you got a family. And some of the people in your family are ugly. Some of the people in your family sting. He said, but you're still a part of the same family. And he began to talk about um, how can one part has anything to criticize about the other part. Now, he used a family, but I thought about 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, says, um, as the body is one and has many members, so are the members of, the, of one body. Being many are one body, so is Christ. So we are a body of Christ. And that's why Christ says, when you come together, enter into my gates with thanksgiving, enter my courts to be praised. Be thankful. I saw in the scripture, God is unhappy when you are unhappy with an attitude. He said, be thankful. You know, uh, come, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. And today, um, the Lord was moving us to offer up the sacrifices of praise with the fruits of our lips. And at, by the time Pastor Capers came behind the praise and worship, because he kept saying, the purpose can lead you to, lead you to the, the place of, 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 uh, of the throne of God. But you have to want to, to, to drink. You have to want to. And he began to talk about true worship, which I believe that was God because as he was talking, the Lord brought to my mind fraternizing when he was using the power of collaboration. Then the Lord began to speak to me about people um, fraternizing. And then that took me to fraternizing means, and the reason I got the thought of fraternizing because I'm studying about apostasy. Apostasy is when a person is falling away. They were in with Christ, but now they're going away from him. Uh, they're falling off, a great falling away, which is apostasy. 
They're moving away from God. And it can be seen in the congregation. It can be seen when people come through the go through the rituals of coming to church. And he said there is the power of collaboration, the power of coming together, where the presence of God is, which you can look in the scriptures. Many times when Christ got ready to do miracles, he put people out. He said, didn't he leave these people because I'm getting ready to raise this child from the dead? And some of people are just spectators. But you don't come to church to spectate. You come to church to participate, not to spectate. Thank you. It's not a show. It's not an entertainment. You can go to the theater. You can go to play. You can go. So, Pastor Capers, I believe that the Lord was dealing with the consciousness of why do you come to church? Do you really love God? Do you know? Now, if you're coming in, a lot of times it said people come right out the street out of hell. They come to church. I know I came in the Bronx. People were coming off of drugs. They were seeking God. <laughs> they was like, I need to be delivered. This devil is wearing it out of me. And the people came. But then sometimes you could go through the rituals. I'm just going to church. I'm just going through. And But God is after the heart of what we do things for. Not just, just going through the motion. But as he was talking, and he talked about a tree is known by its fruit. I say I'm a Christian, but yet... My fruits is not manifested in the that God is in me. Thank you that God is really in control of me. He's really my Lord by the attitude and things. So Pastor Capers was really uh, um, pushing the people and said, I'm not going to apologize because I'm a pastor. It's my job to not just give you sweets and sugar and entertainment, but it's to feed you the, 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 the real, in other words, the, the things that you may not, feel pleasant and my old pastor used to say it's tight but it's right so pastor Cape was using that for, uh, uh, strategy and he's and as he was talking he began to tell let the redeemed because he kept saying uh nobody should have to prod you to to thank god when you have you know clearly that your soul has been rescued thank you jesus and as he was talking i you know all of us who come in you can't help but just First of all, you're supposed to feel the power of God, the presence of God. It's not just the entertain entertainment. It's not just for somebody to sing you happy and you go off. And even when they're singing you happy, you're still judging them. Well, they didn't do this right. They didn't do that right. But it's a participation. Thank you, Jesus. It's a it's a it's a service that you participate in. You're not just being entertained. So that's what he kept dealing with: the power of collaboration, fellowship, working together, coming together on one accord. And I thought that was fitting for what I'm studying about apostasy. People are falling away from God. But then the Lord came up with fraternizing, which took me to the thought of 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, talking about fraternizing with the enemy. Fraternizing, the uh, 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. And it talk about the fellowship. What fellowship has the old Corinthians our mouth is open unto you, and our heart is enlarged, and ye are strengthened in us, but are, but you are not strengthened or straightened in us, but are straightened in your own bowels. So the people are walking after their own, which is apostasy, their own state, what they want, which is like the Nicolaitans. They, they're doing what they want to do. He says, now for a recompense in the same, I speak as to you unto children, be ye also enlarge be not unequally yoked he's telling them you have to separate yourself from those and, and um who is not righteous who is not pursuing god and this is the state of apostasy the church being mixed with unsaved people who have no clean vessels with unclean vessels now if you are a clean vessel and you keep hanging out with them girls who are those guys who's you know back in there when you was unsaved they're going to draw you back you're not going to draw them thank you jesus because your mind is going to go back to what you used to do and for you know it you're going to be back there that's why he said remember lot's wife and it talks about um in hebrews if the uh those who came out and those the whole chapter about 11 if they had been mindful of where they came from they probably would have returned back and so as pastor capers and i believe god is prodding him to speak to the consciousness of people the power of collaboration and another thing is how can one part of the body can't stand the other part of the body that's first corinthians the 12th chapter 
How can you cannot stand that little toe? Uh, you can't stand. He talked about a family, some ugly, you know, could be ugly, or some stink. They're still in your family. People are still in the body of Christ, and you are there to help nurture them and help help them. Let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. This is the message today. The power of collaboration, which is coming out of 1 Corinthians 12, chapter, beginning at the 12th verse, and fraternizing with the enemy is not acceptable. That's 2 Corinthians 6, chapter, verse 11 through 18. I got those things, and I want to, to, to I think it goes along with what God is doing, at least what he's telling me, talking about uh, if you don't abide in the doctrine of Christ, then he talk about apostasy coming in. Then he told him to talk about heresies coming in. And then now he just threw in there to my thoughts the power of collaboration and fraternizing with the enemy. Okay? So either we and this is what the Lord had given me, Isaiah 52 and 10. Well, the whole 52nd chapter of Isaiah says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength. Now, how do we get strength? We come together on one accord. The power of collaboration. O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. We are, and we are one body in the church. We each saying, put on your beautiful garments. Thank you, Jesus. He gave me that too. So all this came with the same study that I'm having, the doctrine of Christ, apostasy, heresies, and all this study, this mindset of what's going on. Because remember, the word is a lamp and a light. So that we can know that which way we're going. And one of them is, are we abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Are we in a state of apostasy? And Pastor Capers surely made it very clear. The power of collaboration. And as he was talking, and, 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 and the, uh, the problem with fraternizing with the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Which is, <laughs> this is what I'm getting, okay? Power of collaboration, 1 Corinthians 12. Okay, talking about the body of Christ. Now, if you don't like the member, you don't like the church people you going with, who you? Who are you? You did not die for these people, and you did not save them. And who are you to judge each other? Who are we to judge each other? Because they don't look like you. They don't have an education. But it's not your education that got you saved. It ain't your money that got you saved. It ain't your riches that got you saved. It was the blood. Today, we've had communion, and we just praise God for the blood because it's through the blood of Christ. Thank you, Jesus, that we all have been saved, and God then told us he chose all types of vessels so that no flesh would be, would be glorified. Okay? So the power of collaboration is coming out of, for my notes, 1 Corinthians 12, talking about the spiritual gifts in the body and the fraternizing with the enemy, 2 Corinthians the 6, chapter 11 through 18. Now, this is what I'm coming to put in right in the midst of my studies about apostasy because I'm studying to to move on from apostate apostate church okay a falling away and they're falling away you got to pump prime and pump them to praise the Lord thank you Jesus the one who rescued you from anyway please continue to pray for me I'm praying for you the next week should hope to go through dealing with apostasy I got this here, collaboration, the power of collaboration, and the problem with fraternizing with the enemy. Okay? I will give you those scriptures because God clearly tells in Isaiah 52, it's time to stop putting on our garments. Okay? Putting on the garments. Get ready to go. Okay? So, therefore, that's what we all purpose. We're moving forward so we can get ready to go. And one, I was telling my sister when I came back, because you know how people get together and say, well, we're going to have a little conversation about what happened today. I said, we ain't going to put our mouth on none of this here. We ain't going to say nothing because God is examining us. Thank you, Jesus. He's examining us, and we need to turn the light on ourselves. We ain't got time to turn the light on nobody else. We got time to turn the light on ourselves. But I want to put on it because those who follow me, I'm purposing. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I know I'm. That's why I, the word. I come back, and, and, and Lord, save me. Save me all over again because it says, if you be counted worthy to escape. And all of these things will determine if you're abiding in the doctrine, whether you fall into an a, a, um, a, 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 a apostate state of mind, whether or not you're fraternizing with unsaved people and you think you're going to save them, or you think you save and you're still saying you save and doing unsaved things. 
Somebody is just fooling themselves. Okay, so please pray for me as I pray for you. And we continue on this journey. Push the like button as we continue on in Jesus' name. Push the like button, okay? And encourage someone else to come along. But today we talk about the power of collaboration. Pastor Kurt, um, Capers and Freedom Temple preached that message today that was God prompting him to deal with the consciousness of why you in church and do you really love God, okay? He, 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 he was dealing with them from a pastoral position. And he can't just give them in. He said, I'm not going to just give you sweets and entertain you. This ain't no theater. This is a place of worship. And God looking for true worshipers who do worship him in spirit and in truth. So the word was powerful. And not just the word, but his demonstration because he began to say, how can you say you don't love people and they're in, your, they're in the same church? How, how can you? What kind of Christian are you? Okay. So anyway, this is for me. And I pray that if you follow me, I'm going to show you what God has taken me through. I pray that we will examine ourselves and see whether or not we are fraternizing with the enemy or we in, in, in the power of collaboration. Whoever you are collaborating or coming together with, that's, way, that's what's happening to you. That's the group that you should be in. Okay? And if you're in the body of Christ, then be there for the purpose of worshiping God in spirit and opening up your mouth, clapping your hands. God, in fact, God don't want you to come. He said, come into my gates with thanksgiving into my courts with prayer. Be thankful. He ain't telling you that for no reason. He mean be thankful. Don't just come there. Be thankful. And when you've been beat up by the devil, you are thankful that somebody rescued you. When you really understand where he brought you from. Please push the like button and continue to pray as we continue on in Jesus' name. Amen.